Alright, this week's Fanatec GT3 Challenge Fixed Series is at Imola. One of my favorite tracks, although I have a mixed history in terms of performance at this track, so I always kind of get excited and also have a little bit of dread when I see it on the schedule. But uh, driving the Porsche GT3R is um, a lot of fun on tracks like this because uh, it really um, lends itself well to kind of pushing the car around and uh, drifting it just a little bit. And and that, that can be fun at this track. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, I've been practicing. I managed to get um, down into the low 44s actually in practice. But what was really funny about that is uh, the practice session that I was in, I was about two seconds off of the fastest pace and was like 27th in the practice. So there's a whole clump of people in the same time, um, lap time span. So I expect that races this week will be quite, quite competitive. Um, I may be a one and done uh, this week simply because I'm, I'm tired. It's uh, late on Saturday. Um, when I'm recording this, and um, I am thinking that uh, it's it's probably best if I um, do my best in one race, see if I can get maximum points. If I do poorly, I can do another race, but if I do okay and I'm satisfied with the point haul, then I, I may just call it a week. Um, at the end of last week, I looked at the point standings, and um, in Division 7, I was 21st um, after I completed my races last week. So I am estimating just based on math, because I missed the first week, so I don't have a point haul from the first week. It is a, uh, uh, a four drop series. So it's eight, eight weeks will be counted um, regardless. So with each progressive week, I'm catching up closer and closer. So I expect some to be somewhere in the top 20 um, after this week's performance, if I get the same points haul I've been getting um, over the last three weeks. So um, that's exciting. Um, hopefully that will uh, pay dividends and I'll get even further up by the time they're counting a full eight weeks and uh, we'll, we'll see what we do. Anyway, not getting too far ahead of myself. Um, I uh, hope that you will like this video. And if you do, please click on like. Um, and if you want to be notified of uh, future videos, go on ahead and uh, click on subscribe. But uh, without further ado, I bring you the GT3R at Emila in a sea of GT3 cars. Okay, this was a utter fucking disaster. I tried to qualify and I was coming out of pit row and all my USB devices completely shut down. I had to restart my machine. By the time I got back in, I got in my warm-up lap, out lap for qualifying, but did not complete a qualifying lap, which as the number seven car in this grid uh, put me number 13 as unqualified on the, on the starting. Um, damn, um, really sucks. So I had some speed. I don't know what the qualifying times were, but uh, um, I think I probably would have been in the top five at least. Um, so starting from 13 at a deficit, let's see if I can uh, keep from getting killed by mid-pack. Not looking forward to this. Shit. Could be worse, I guess. But not by much. Temp is 73 Fahrenheit, B13. Follow car number 10 in the left lane. All right, Chip, get ready. Go, go, go! Go, 
There's an incident in Tamburello. It looks like Harris. Incident in Villeneuve. There's an incident in very anti Alta. Looks like it's current. <laughs> incident in Ravatsa 2. We think it might be Rodriguez. an interesting first lap. P6. Come on, Chip. Nicely done. Seven point eight seconds up the road. Five. Sector three is one point five off the pace. I'm not even taking a little piece of it. Okay, Chip, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. You're pulling away. The gap behind is now 2.4. There's an incident in Ravatsa 1. It looks like Arias. The 
car in front is. Harry S. Last lap time was at 145.22. now 4.5 Okay, Chip, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Come on, stay focused. Apexes and exits, apexes and exits. You're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. P5. Sector 2 is 0.6. Off the pace.
At least I'm consistently slow. Put the gap to RES. Ahead is now 6.0 seconds. Somebody in PCA Sim Racing uh, recently posted about, well, basically asking if anybody else wore uh, a bike plate when they raced because he clenched his teeth and his doctor told him that was a good idea. And I thought that that was ludicrous until this race. Good consistency. Keep him coming. Okay, Chip, you've got half your fuel left. Gap to RES. Ahead is now 4.9 seconds. Okay, Chip, double chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. That's five minutes to go, five minutes. So encouraging. Whether or not it's true. And 
he strung another second out on me. So I'm out here farting around. Trying new things. Because this is the time to do that. Dumbass. Alright, Chip, the next car is Harry S. I know that, Jim. But thank you. Push, 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 we can get this guy. So Arias in front is now 5.6 seconds. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Stay put. Thank you. Take that all day long. D4.
Okay, Jip. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. P4. Okay, it's over. Well done, mate. Good finish. Well, that ain't bad. 13 to 4. Can live with it. So despite the hectic start, I um, started 13th because I couldn't qualify, and um, well, I could have qualified had my machine not just went, um, got it restarted in time to at least start the race, and um, moved from 13th up to 4th, avoiding carnage and just uh, driving my race. Um, even wound up making a spot up that last lap that I didn't expect to make up. So finishing fourth is not bad. They're just outside the podium. Top five. Top five is good. Um, so I am probably not going to race a second race this weekend. Not because I don't love Emila. I do. Um, I really do. But um, I have had a lot going on this week. And um, some of that has <laughs> left me with a sore knee and a sore shoulder and some other oddities that, you know, poor me. But uh, I, I think that I'm going to call this good. Uh, I got uh, 63 championship points, um, and that's in the neighborhood of where I've been doing and, you know, uh, been competing at um, in terms of getting points. Um, this race was next to bottom split, fourth split, um, uh, 1273 strength of field. Um, on a zero incident race and a one incident qualifier because I actually, um, in doing my warm up lap, I was pushing, trying to make speed um, so I could get a lap in and actually get a qualifying in and it didn't work, but it still lost me um, an incident point. So uh, even though I got a zero incident race, um, I only gained 0.1 um, safety rating, which is actually not bad. Um, so I'm not a 422 um, and finishing fourth uh, put me at uh, 58 total I rating points in a, um, added onto my high rating. So not horrible. Um, would have been nicer to be at the pointier end of the field on this. Um, but, uh, you know, take what you can get um, at this point. Uh, uh, that, that's, that's good. Um, looks like uh, um, Lucas, who won the race, uh, got 91 uh, points I rating, which is awesome. He also had a zero incident race, which is uh, always commendable when you can win the race and uh, get zero incidents. Um, and the biggest loser in this race is Joseph Weatherby with a minus 93 because he disconnected uh, shortly after start. I guess he was probably involved in that incident that we fished our way through. So anyway, um, that's it for this week. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on like. Um, and if you want to be notified of uh, future videos, uh, click on subscribe and uh, we'll let you know. Thanks a lot and have a good day. Das macht Rennsport.